Okay, so this is Ant with Team TC5 again, and I have my Worm Deck profile up today. Um, I have two secret tech monsters, which work really well, and I'll reveal them later. But, um, monster lineup, one Evil Dragon. Uh, I only run one, because I don't have stuff in the graveyard that often. So one's good enough. Um, one Gale, because he cuts stuff in half, plus he's a tuner that lets me access Black Rose. Um, I have three Yagans and... Three Zex, which are the main worm combo. Um, I have three links. I like playing with links for the plus because uh, I run a lot of stalls in here that keep them alive. Then I run two card rows. Um, I only need two. Three is kind of dead because I end up um, not being able to search for stuff. Um, then I have two worm kings. Uh, a lot of people like playing one, but I like playing two because it's nice to get that extra plus from uh, Meteorite. Uh, and then for traps, I have one Gravity Bind, because I have uh, Gale in here, which gets over a lot of stuff, plus it he helps keep uh, Lynx alive. And I also play with a lot of Exceed monsters, so Gravity Bind works really well with them. Torrential, Solemn, Nebula, awesome card. Um, this is the only reason why I play Worms, because you plus so much with it. Two Bottomless, one Dust Shoot. Um, three offerings and then I play with two deep prisons and one mirror force um, I like deep prisons like a lot of people aren't playing them anymore because of heavies and mystical but since people are playing with starlight roads again um, it helps get over stardust dragon because I don't have that many strong monsters to get rid of him so yeah deep prisons are good then I run two MST I don't run three because like I said, people aren't playing that many back rows, so two's good enough. One Heavy Storm, one level limit area B. I run this instead of more gravity binds because some guy played Trap Stud on me and my gravity bind died, so I ended up getting OTK'd. So yeah, level limit works really well too. Um, I might end up adding two gravity binds to my side. Um, but yeah, for now, one Gravity Bind and one level limit work really well in this deck, especially with Exceed Monsters. And I have one Dark Hole, one Book of Moon, Monster Reborn, and Mind Control. And then my two secret monsters are Mechlord Emperor Weisel. He's really good. Like, since I have so much back roll, I need the back roll protection. And Weisel gives me that because he stops Mystical Space Saifu and Heavy Storm Dark Holes. Plus he's also a 2500 beater, and the best part, he's level 1. So he gets over, I don't know, I guess he gets under level limit and gravity bind. Um, also he steals synchro monsters, which is awesome. Um, and then there's a lot of cards in this deck that work really well to get him out, like offerings. Uh, offering the snake de deity, it destroys monsters instead of tributes them. So I could use that to destroy a Yagin and then I'll get my Weisel out. And there's also stuff in the extra deck that help get him out too. But some other things that help are like Torrential, Evil Dragon, I could blow itself up and then get my Weisel, um, Dark Hole. Yeah. And then uh, for my extra deck, I have three Utopias because it can negate stuff and it's a beater. I have three Wind Ups and Meisters. Um, this card is really good. It's also a 2500 beater and its effect I could flip and reflect mon and reflip monsters. So I could use that with Yagen to keep sending monsters to the hand, or I could send it use it with Carteros to keep getting my pluses. And I have one Roach. Um, it's good against agents, but I'm probably gonna end up selling it because I don't feel like I really need it. Uh, then I have one Gachi Gachi. A lot of times I end up decking myself out with Worm Links, so Gachi Gachi is really good because it gives you the extra 400 attack boost in a wall, and it also stop prevents me from ducking myself out. I have two Chimeratech because I have Cyber Dragons and an extra. Three Stardust Dragons because I didn't know what else to put in. One Black Rose Dragon because I have uh, Gale and a lot of level 4 monsters. I have one Magical Android because um, I can sync Gale with Lynx. So yeah, that's extra deck. Plus, um, Utopia has a self-destruct effect so he works really good with uh, Weisel too. And then for my extra deck I have two Cyber Dragons. Uh, the main problem with Worm decks are that they don't have any beaters except for Zex and King. So yeah, Cyber Dragon works really well. Um, 
in the side deck if I'm playing against gadgets or just if I need a beater. Then I have one Grand Mole just to stop like Roach or something. Um, a Gores because he's just really good. Uh, stops you from getting OTK'd. And um, it's really easy to sign him in. I could take out Gravity Binds level limit and the three links to put in Gores and some other stuff. And I have Morphin Jar. I have Morphin Jar side decked because um, Dark Worlds are coming out soon and this card helps him out too much. So I side him. I have him sided out. Uh, if I find out that I'm not playing against Dark Worlds, then I side him in during match two. Then I have um, two Breakers because my monsters are kind of. He's a 1900 beater plus he gets rid of Light Imprisoning Mirrors for me. Two Debunks because Brandon kept killing me with. Effect Veilers and Herald of Orange Light, so this will stop him. Then I have two Starlight Roads. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Two Kikos. Uh, I play Kiko instead of, what's it called? Chaos Hunter because I can normal summon him. Plus, he has a better effect. Um, he lets you control the graveyard and he doesn't let your opponent remove cards. So he's really, really good against Agents of Twilight, this um, format. They have two effect veilers because it's just good. Yep, um, that is my deck. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe to Team DC5.